Now, have you ever wondered how secure is your Android phone? In today's digital world, it is very important to keep the phone safe and secure. And when it comes to that, Samsung stands right there on top, providing some of the top tier security features on the Galaxy phones. And in today's video, we are going to see some of the key security features which Samsung offers, which keeps the phone safe and secure, and why Samsung phone is known to have some of the best security features in the market today. This video is going to be very informative for all those Android phone users, as well as Samsung Galaxy phone users. So do not skip this video and if you're new and if you're first time here on the channel go ahead subscribe to the channel and hit that like button i would really appreciate that now let's dive right into the video now when it comes to security on samsung galaxy phones it is majorly powered by samsung knox I know everybody talks about Samsung Knox, Samsung is secured by Knox and we all know about it. But what exactly is this? Is this a software or a program or an application? So what exactly is the Samsung Knox? It is built into the Samsung Galaxy phones at the manufacturing level itself, which means it's a hardware feature which is right there inside your Galaxy phone. And at the point of manufacture itself, Samsung puts this Knox hardware into the system. The Knox security begins at chip level itself where highly sensitive data is isolated from the rest of the device's operations. There is a real-time protection on Samsung Galaxy phones. Even when you have not rebooted the device for days together, the Knox keeps the data on the phone safe and secure. It is able to protect your data and applications by strictly choosing what each process can and can't do, and what data it can access, ensuring privacy in applications and personal files. Now what's important here is according to Samsung, this is a defense-grade security system that we have on Samsung Galaxy phone. The platform seems to have met the varied security certificate requirements and received multiple implementation guides for classified use in various governmental agencies worldwide. Thanks to data being stored and remaining in an encrypted state, Knox is the perfect option for those of you who want to protect the data from theft, hacking, loss of device, as well as data leaks. Now, should we activate Knox after buying Samsung Galaxy phones? No, we don't have to do anything about it. The Knox comes out of the box and the moment you turn on the device, your phone is completely protected with this Knox security system. But here is something more important. For the data to be more secure, you can't leave the data just like that on the phone. You can make it more secure by putting the data into a secure folder on the Galaxy phone. That brings us to the next important security feature that is the secure folder. Now a lot of Samsung Galaxy phone users misunderstand the purpose of the secure folder. Now this is not something like an application lock. The app lock that is set on the applications or on the files will just lock those data, but there is no protection of the data from viruses, malware, or any other uh, threat from outside. But when it comes to secure folder, it's a completely different concept altogether. So this is basically an encrypted space on Samsung devices where you can keep private photos, videos, applications, and other data. And this is what enables Samsung Knox to protect important information from malicious attack and unauthorized access. So Creating a secure folder is very important. A lot of people don't understand this. Keeping the data inside the secure folder is the safest way to protect your data. If you want to keep some passwords or some sensitive data from your gallery or anywhere, you can just keep it, you can just transfer it into secure folder and just encrypt it and you're good to go. Now, how do we check if the Knox is available on your Galaxy phone? All you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on about phone, tap on software information, you'll be able to see the Knox version right there. I think most of the latest Galaxy phones does come with this Knox security feature. Even the Galaxy watches and the Galaxy tablets are equipped with Samsung Knox. I'm not sure about the lower end Samsung devices. Do let me know if you have uh, something like M series or F series phones. Do you have Samsung Knox on your uh, system? Drop a comment and let me know. Now, apart from Samsung Knox and secure folder, Samsung does offer some additional security features which uh, works in conjunction with Samsung Knox. You've got Samsung Pass, you've got secure Wi-Fi, Samsung Pay, Samsung Health, and Find My Mobile are some of the additional security features we get on the Galaxy phones. Samsung Find helps you easily find your misplaced Galaxy smartphones, tablets, watches, earbuds, S Pen, and other devices for both you and your family. So you'll be able to locate your device using this feature. You can lock the phone remotely, you can ring the device, and you can also erase the data. The data stored on the device can be completely deleted to prevent the risk of exposure of your data to others. Now, these security features on Samsung Galaxy phones don't stop there. Samsung recently added a brilliant feature called Auto Blocker on Galaxy phones, which helps keep you safe from security threats, suspicious activities, and privacy risks. When this Auto Blocker is enabled on your Galaxy phone, it blocks apps from unauthorized sources, blocks commands by 
a USB cable, the malicious chargers, computers and other devices won't be able to send commands to your phone when connected using USB cable. Blocks malware images sound messaging application which is fantastic. We tend to open the messages and tap on any links or malware images uh, without knowing what it is. So this auto blocker feature prevents that link getting opened on the phone. So the Galaxy phones will find out if that link or if that image is a threat on your device, then that image or the link will be completely blocked. And it also blocks the non-official software updates. So just in case if you want to sideload the operating system, then you might have to disable auto blocker. Having it enabled will block the software update from the non-official sources. And it doesn't stop there. Under auto blocker, we have got maximum restrictions. That again provides an extra layer of security on Galaxy phones. This scans the application on your phone for viruses and spyware. It blocks device admin applications. It blocks 2G networks, which is interesting. 2G networks are less secure these days and this feature on Samsung Galaxy phones will block the 2G network from getting connected on your device. But just in case if you're in the area where you have got 2G network and if you have to use it, then you have to turn off this maximum restrictions on the Galaxy phone. This also blocks the auto connection to non-secure Wi-Fi networks, blocks auto downloading attachments, blocks hyperlinks and previews, removes location data when sharing pictures, blocks shared albums, removes location data when sharing pictures. So a pretty tight security features out there on the Galaxy phones, which is just fantastic. And Samsung doesn't stop adding security features. On One UI 7.0 based on Android 15, we have got a brand new security feature, which enables us to check the security status of the other connected device. Like it could be, it could be a Galaxy watch or a Galaxy phone or a Galaxy tablet or any of the Galaxy devices. We will be able to check the security status right there on your Galaxy phone. And this is made possible by something called Knox Matrix. Knox Matrix monitors supported devices signed into your Samsung account using a secure private blockchain. Each device in the chain can check the security status of the other devices and let you know if there are any threats. This is again just incredible the level of security that we have now on Samsung Galaxy phones. And apart from all this, we also get the cloud data protection. The data that we upload to Samsung Cloud will get encrypted, which is again another security feature for the data which we store on the cloud. Now, apart from all this, Samsung does provide monthly security patches on the Galaxy phones and it is very important for everyone, all the Galaxy users, to go ahead and update the phones every month when you get the security patches. This fixes a lot of vulnerabilities. Android devices are vulnerable to threats and uh, every month we get these security patches Patches, which will protect your device from vulnerabilities. So we need to make sure the security patches are updated on the Galaxy phones and Samsung provides timely update for all its uh, latest devices. And Samsung raised the bar in the industry by providing software updates up to seven years. They're the first one to do it. Most of the Galaxy phones get anywhere between four to seven years of software upgrades along with the security patches. So they're right there on the top when it comes to software updates and security patches. These are the reasons why Samsung is one of the most secure phones in the market out there today but end of the day it is not just about samsung protecting your devices it is about you protecting your devices you need to make sure your phone is safe and secure you have to enable all these features on the phone and be careful while connecting to the public networks and downloading apks or a third-party applications from uh, unofficial sources so these are certain things which you need to keep in mind and make sure your phone is safe and secure so it is not just about the phone securing your data it is you securing your data so that is something which you need to keep in mind and this is something which I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Let me know what are your thoughts. If you've got any other additional features available on Samsung Galaxy phones, do drop a comment and let me know. That's about it. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you want to know your phone better, go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.